Hi my lovelies, welcome back to my channel and for everybody who is new, I'm Leora and I'm so glad you found me. So welcome to today's video which is going to be a collaboration video with Rapunzel and today we're not going to do a wrapping tutorial as you saw on the thumbnail of the video. Today we're going to do a tag video and this video, this tag has actually been created by myself and by my special guest which is Yohadit Clark from America who is visiting me and I'm so excited and happy about that because she's sitting right here and waiting for to come on. <laughs> anyway, so you're gonna see her in a second. Let me just uh, tell you how this whole thing came together because we had planned to do a wrapping video together and because of my limited space here in my little studio that would have not been so practical. So we decided to do an interview kind of a video with her and then from that developed this this whole thing that once we wrote down the questions for the interview we thought wow these are questions that most probably all of you ladies or maybe some of you ladies would love to answer too so it's 11 questions and we're going to call this this the Rapunzelista tag because it's questions about our wrapping journey and about our preferences and uh, you'll see it in a second so without further ado let's bring our special guest on and we'll go right into the video. Hi everyone, <laughs> we're back and here is my special guest on my channel. This is actually the, f the second guest that I have on my channel about I don't know, eight months ago I had Sonia Zeno here, which was also very exciting, but this is my first Rapunzelista guest. And uh, this is Yerudit Clark. If you don't know her, I don't know what you've been doing. <laughs> <laughs> we're just going to tell you first of all what we are wearing, because of course we are wearing Rapunzel scarves. And I'm wearing the Uber Poof, and on top of that I'm wearing the uh, Cornerstone scarf in green, which you see right here and here. And then I have the red shimmery and the uh, Sari scarf in brown, wrapped in a little poofy thing which I really really love so the, re the tutorial for that might be coming up soon so just so you know so what are you wearing my darling I'm wearing my windy shaper and I am also wearing two watercolor two-in-ones one is the burnt orange with purplish color in it um, a New York bright just to add a little sparkle and um, the second watercolor two-in-one is the purple and turquoisey teal look so that's it. That's what I'm wearing. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't she lovely? <laughs> All right, so let's go right into the questions. I'm going to, of course, list all the questions also in the description box down below, so you will have them if you want to answer them, and I'm going to talk about that at the end of the video. Okay, the first question is, why and when did you start rapping? Mm. This one's a little bit difficult to answer specifically, except because I, I need to go back to when I was a child. Um, I always had this thing with putting things on my head, <laughs> either scarves or what have you. I didn't do it all the time, but I I enjoyed it. I, I liked wearing wigs even as a young girl, you know. I don't know why, it just was that thing, you know. I think maybe because I've always had a love-hate relationship with my own hair, although I did have quite lovely hair when I was young. Not so much anymore. <laughs> so <laughs> anyway, um, for uh, rapping consistently and all the time, the Rapunzel group had a lot to do with that. Um, I used to rap just on Shabbat when I started keeping Shabbat, and um, that was probably eight, nine years ago. Um, <clears throat> but consistently going out in public, Rapunzel group had a lot to do with that. So. From whenever I started on the Rapunzel group, I think maybe February, March time frame, a year ago, I think it's been a year, a little more than a year ago now, I started rapping full time because I thought these ladies are doing it in small communities where they're the only one, I can do it too. So, yay! It's, it's very encouraging. So, how did you find Rapunzel? How did I find Rapunzel? That's also very interesting. Because I am intrigued with rapping, um, I did web surfing and I originally came across Andrea Grunberg's website where she was rapping but she didn't, she had music playing or was silent and she didn't speak. So I was intrigued with watching her and watching her rap. And then um, there was a collaboration between her and Rivka Malka Perlman, whom I loved both of them together. And so um, I would watch both of them and started following Rapunzel at that time. Mm -hmm. So probably 
at the at the conception, and I, I don't remember now how long ago that was, but it's been a, a few years at least, you know, when um, I started following. Um, yeah. So. Okay. Okay, what are your thoughts about the Rapunzel Community Group on Facebook? You have already sort of touched up a little bit on that, so you want to elaborate a little bit on that group? What are my thoughts about them? I love them. <laughs> <laughs> I love them. They're a bright spot in my life. Um, I always find them to be very encouraging and uplifting, and I enjoy seeing them daily with their wraps and what they're doing with them. and. You know, even down to the personal, you know, we as women, we get into our personal lives a lot, you know, and our emotions and things that are troubling us or things that we're happy about or our children or what have you. So I love them all and um, I, I've made many friendships there and um, I hope to continue to do so. That's very nice. And really, you all know that Judith is really the one who is always there. And she always leaves her little flowers to, to just show you, I saw you and, and uh, I love this. This is, you know, it just speaks for her heart. She's just really an amazing person. <laughs> all right, next question is, uh, what are your top three shapers? My top three shapers are the Wendy, of course. Um, I love the cloud nine as well mm. when I don't want to be so poofed out <laughs> more sedate you know then I go with the cloud nine which is a lovely shaper as well and then I guess for my third one I thought a lot about this I guess on occasion it would be the uber poof uh -huh. <laughs> because you know it just gives you that pow kind of look you know <laughs> where you feel like oh okay I'm all that and more <laughs> so um, yeah I like the uber poof I don't wear it all that often mm -hmm. but um, like with you with what you're wearing today it's it's quite intriguing to me you know I just love it I think you can do so much styling with it you know yeah so because it brings you so much area to mm -hmm. work with, so much exactly. surface. Yes, yeah. surface area to work with. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, next question is, uh, what are your top five scarves? Oh, that's a hard one because I... It's hard to decide. <laughs> yes, I really enjoy them all. But um, I do really love the watercolor two-in-ones. Um, and, you know, and I don't always remember the names of the scarves. Mm -hmm. But um, New York Brights, obviously, is a second for me because you can do so much with those, you know. Mm. Um, that's two-third. Um, sorry scarves. I, I love, love, love sorry scarves um, because they just dress everything up, you mm -hmm. know. I mean, you can't have a bad day or a bad rap with a sorry scarf, right, <laughs> ladies? <laughs> I have to have sorry scarves. I love them. And some of some women can wrap just with the sari scarves, mm -hmm. you know, and they look fabulous. You know, I like to combine my sari scarves. Mm -hmm. So there you have it. <laughs> That's it. Um, what is another one? The Rapunzel Signature Scarf. I love this scarf. Mm -hmm. I love it because of the multi facets of the colors in it. You can wear it with any outfit and it just goes, mm -hmm. you know, and you can put folds in, you can wrap it in the regal or whatever, and it it always it looks just, different. It, it looks yeah. different every single time. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the ladies that wrap with it, I mean, they all do something different, you mm -hmm. know, and put different color combinations with it. And it's just lovely. Mm -hmm. So that's that one. Um, I like the Sparklicious because I'm all about shiny. <laughs> Go ahead and sparkle. <laughs> Go ahead and sparkle, ladies. <laughs> um, and then, let's see... You know, there's this one that I really, really like. It came in several colors. We can't remember the name of it. It was like the sh um, Shimmering Night Sky. I don't think Rapunzel sells it anymore. Um, it might have been retired, you know, or maybe they can't get it anymore. Mm. But it's just a very elegant, beautiful, classy scarf, you know, yeah. that you can do a lot with. Sometimes that, you know, some scarves... They just are meant to be worn, mm -hmm. and they have their own style to them. And some of them just do the right thing mm -hmm. at the right time when you need it, <laughs> never seeming to give you a tickle tantrum. Mm -hmm. And that would be that scarf. Yeah. So I think that was five. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So next question number six is: What are some of your favorite color combinations in wrapping? 
Well, hmm, let's see. I really like blue and green mixed together. Um, I like purple and red together. Um, I like purple with anything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, purple is a favorite color of mine. Um, let's see, I like chocolate brown mm. and pink, or even dark chocolate brown and pink. I, mm. I just love that combination. Um, and I like tangerine, and I like anything tangerine also, or orange and purple. Okay. Um, yellow, I'm, you know, I, I like the combination of um, purple and yellow, but yellows, uh, unless it's a buttery, creamy kind of yellow, mm. it's not really my color. Like, mm. I don't know that this is really my color, you know, that I look well in, but um, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Plus you're combining it, you mm -hmm. know, so it's, it's mm -hmm. okay. You have my approval. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Not that you need it. Okay. Next question but is... I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. What are your favorite wraps or wrapping styles? Uh, that's a hard one. Um, I'm a turban girl. Uh, that's my go-to. That's my all-time favorite is the mm. turban. Um, I like the Shimon. Um, I think it's the Shimon. I'm not good on the names, ladies. Sorry. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> I can't even remember my own wraps. <laughs> but I like the Shimon. That's the one where you bring them over and you twist them or braid them and put them, you know, one side. So it's a one-sided braid or twist. Yeah. I like And them. then it hangs down here a little bit. Is that the one? No, that's not the oh. Shimon. See, um, I, I have think no it's idea. <laughs> I, the other one that I really like is the one that you wrap around, you know, like this, and that hangs down. Mm. I think that's the Lizelle, or okay. I'm, I'm really bad with the names, ladies, sorry. <laughs> um, what else? What are my other styles? Um, I really like the waterfalls, but not on me. Mm -hmm. I, it just doesn't feel right, or <laughs> I don't know what it is, mm -hmm. but you ladies that wear the waterfalls, those, or the veils, the veils, those are absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. I really like those on other people, just not on me. Mm -hmm. So, and the regal, I, I like the regal. Sometimes my easiest go-to is just to um, put it in a regal or a turban um, with colors, you mm -hmm. know, different scarves. Uh, the one other thing that I do like is the Marrakesh. Okay. I like that little <laughs> yeah. thing, you know, where you put that little fan thing out, you know. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I, I think that's it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, next one. Question number eight. What was the most endearing or encouraging response to your reps from the general public? Hmm. I'll never forget. The most endearing one was probably from um, a little boy. He must have been about five years old. And I was going into, I was shopping, grocery shopping, and I was wearing a really beautiful color combination in the Shimon. And um, I was shopping in the vegetation area, you know, where they have all the fruits and veggies and things like that. And this little boy was talking to his mom. And when I came into the area, he stopped and he got this beautiful huge smile on his mm -hmm. face and he just stared at me like oh <laughs> <laughs> and he just loved it and so for me that was probably one of the most endearing yeah. um, reactions that I had you know was from that little boy and another endearing one was um, I was in a makeup store and I was at the counter buying my making my purchases and um, there was a glass window from outside in the mall, mm -hmm. and I happened to look up while I was getting my money out to pay the cashier, and there was this older woman standing in the window, just staring at me. <laughs> <laughs> I had some kind of um, turquoise and um, yeah, pattern and turquoise mm -hmm. sari wrap mm -hmm. on, and. She was just standing there looking at me. Dreamy. <laughs> what has she got on her head? <laughs> and then lastly, I've had two young men um, in their 20s. Um, one, I was again at a supermarket. And uh, one of the young uh, stalkers, he came up to me alongside of me. And he says, I just want you to know, I really love your rap. Mm. Now, he got it right. A lot of people don't get that right. They right. say your hat or whatever, but 
he said, I really love your wrap. It's so pretty. Wow. And I thought, wow, that's so nice, yeah. you know, for a young person to even notice, yeah. you know, that it's different and it was pretty. Yeah. And the other one, again, was from a young man in his young 20s. He was walking the mall, you know, and he was wearing his... Uh, headphones, listening to music, I suppose, and all of a sudden I felt him coming up alongside of me, and I thought, you know, I'm not used to people coming up just right alongside mm -hmm. of me, and he was taking his ear earphones, uh, earphones out yeah. of his ears, and he said, I just want to tell you that your rap, another one who <laughs> got it, your rap is so beautiful. I wow. just love the way mm -hmm. that you've done that, you know. I, th I thought that was really sweet. Amazing. And then he just went back on to listening to his <laughs> music. So anyway, those yeah. are it. Very nice. Yeah. Okay, question number nine. How does your husband support you on your rapping journey? Hi, Edward. <laughs> <laughs> My husband is wonderful. He likes me when I'm wearing my shaitals, my wigs, but um, he had a little bit of a challenge when I started rapping full time. He wasn't, I'm always doing something <laughs> that he's not sure about, mm -hmm. you know. Full uh, of surprises. Yeah, I am always full of surprises. So the telltale sign for him is, am I consistent with mm -hmm. it? Is it just a phase or am I consistent mm -hmm. with him? When he saw that I was consistent, consistently rapping mm -hmm. um, every day, he, it grew on him, yeah. you know, at first he was a little bit, mm, what is she up to, you mm -hmm. know, what are we going for here, but he loves it now, so much so, that every day when I go to rap, he'll, if I'm taking a little bit too long, he'll come wandering into the bathroom or the bedroom, wherever I'm rapping, and he comes to check me out mm -hmm. just to see what is she <laughs> doing, you know? And yeah. then usually when I'm done rapping, he, I come out and I say, well, what do you think? And he'll tell me mm. whether he loves it or yeah, mostly he says he loves them, yeah. you know? Um, he allows me to buy scarves. He never stops me from doing that. So he's very supportive that mm. financially yeah. that way. And... Um, what else? Um, Let me just throw you throw something in here mm -hmm. because you know what? Uh, when Yehudit came here last week, when we're filming this last <laughs> week, uh, I think two days after she had arrived here, she got a message from her husband <laughs> who said, among other things, of course, he said, I miss your raps. <laughs> so, I mean, I think this tells it all, right? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> he misses my raps. He misses my fashion shows. <laughs> Because when I rap, I have to do a fashion show with what I'm wearing. So, yeah, yeah he misses that. So, that so was sweet. sweet. Yeah, so that, sweet. I mean, that says it all. Right, totally. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so question number 10. What did you learn from Leora? <laughs> what did I learn from Leora? <laughs> I had to throw that question in, sorry. Yeah, of course she did. <laughs> because one learns a lot from Leora. <laughs> um, what did I learn from you? Or what am I learning from you? I'm learning not to be afraid of color. Um, not to be afraid of mixing patterns and colors. Um, I'm learning a lot about makeup application. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because you put me in a Zen zone mm -hmm. <laughs> when you're doing your makeup tutorials. Mm -hmm. But anyway, that's a side subject. Mm -hmm. um, and that not to be afraid to sparkle. Mm -hmm. Sparkling, you know, it can draw attention. Mm -hmm. And somebody like me who doesn't like attention, public attention, especially. Good that you're on YouTube now. Uh, yeah, thank you so much that I'm here. For the world. Her. Yes, she did. Because I'm like, oh, with trepidation, I'm here. Um, yeah. But she's doing amazing. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, to go ahead and sparkle, yes. you know, because I think it's important. We're, we're beautiful creatures, mostly yeah. generated from inside, coming outward. But, you know, it doesn't hurt to sparkle on the outside it is, it <laughs> a little bit. So, yes. you know, I, th I think the biggest thing is to just be yourself, find your own style, um, even if it's mixing colors and patterns, which you look fabulous in, mm -hmm. as do others, you know, or even like me, I dress a little more conservatively, and yet I think I still sparkle. Oh, yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, that would be it. Yeah. Yeah. I, it's a lot. It's a yes. lot. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I never lot. thought that anyone would, you know. 
<laughs> All right, uh, question number 11. That's the last one, girls, okay? Mm -hmm. um, what one piece of advice would you want to share with the ladies from your heart to theirs? I guess it goes along with what I just said. Mm. Um, you know, listen to your inner voice. Because the inner voice that's within you, that that's you, that knows you best, listen to it and don't be afraid to explore and to embrace color. There are those of you who are, I think, a little bit timid um, of being a little bit more, you know, out there with your colors and what have you, but I would say just embrace your femininity, embrace who you are, and let that shine forth. It's a beautiful thing, it's a reflective thing of who you truly are, I feel, you know. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, just love yourself and love yourself through expression mm -hmm. with color, however that looks to you, you know, whether, and styles, different styles, you know. Mm -hmm. um, at first, I was intimidated by styles, you know, head wrapping styles. But the more I did it, the more I liked it, and mm -hmm. the more creative then you become, mm -hmm. you know. So I, I guess, is that... That's perfect. <laughs> That's it, you know. That's perfect. Yeah. Wow. Girls, what do you think? <laughs> First of all, what do you think about the questions? What do you think about the tag? What do you think about our beautiful, beautiful wrapping queen here? <laughs> okay, so uh, we're going to wrap this video up because I, I know you don't mind when it's a little bit longer because it is, a, it is a tag video, you know, it takes time to answer those questions. But what I wanted to ask you, if you want to, or I want to offer that to you, and I've checked with Rapunzel and I've checked with the moderators also on the uh, Facebook community group. So I I want to ask you if you want to do this tag just post a picture in the community group of your wrap or whatever you want to share of Rapunzel scarves or whatever and then pick up the questions and answer the questions in the comments or in wherever you wherever you can answer the questions or if you just want to answer one or two or three or five whatever you want uh, so we can just all share in this tag and just do hashtag Rapunzelista tag so uh, you know so we know <laughs> <laughs> and it's so so exciting for us if you want you can also tag you did and myself so we see what your answers will be and uh, yeah so that's that's what it is, right? Mm -hmm. That's what we thought we should That's do. It's a fun thing. Yeah. It's a fun <laughs> thing. <laughs> and what I'm going to do also is that I'm going to, before I upload my next wrapping tutorial, I'm also going to go, go and sit down and answer my own questions, which is actually very exciting for me too. So I'm going to give you a bonus video where I'm answering the Rapunzelista. Wow, this is a tongue twister. Rapunzelista. The Lista yeah, tag Lista. questions. <laughs> And besides that, if you're new here, then please subscribe to my channel, right? Right. Right. <laughs> and if you like the video, then please give it a like, share some love. <laughs> and besides that, go ahead and sparkle, enjoy rapping, be proud of yourselves, you're all queens. And I'll see you here next time. Next time, unfortunately, again alone, even though I love being not alone. <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, go ahead and sparkle and I'll see you here for my next video. Up until then, hugs and kisses. Bye.